After she traveled 5,000 miles across the world to cheer him on at the Super Bowl, Travis Kelsey made sure to pull out all the stops for Taylor Swift on Valentine's Day. Swift embarked on a mad rush from Tokyo to Las Vegas last weekend for Super Bowl 58, where Kelsey and the Kansas City Chiefs prevailed in a thriller against the San Francisco 49ers. Following an epic party in Vegas to toast the Chiefs' victory, the pop megastar waved goodbye to Travis again and headed off on another long trip to Melbourne, Australia, for the next leg of her era's tour. And according to the U.S. Sun, Swift was greeted by a number of lavish Valentine's Day gifts from Kelsey when she arrived in Australia this week. The Kansas City tight end is said to have spent close to $14,000 on presents for his girlfriend, who was getting herself back into work mode when she received the Valentine's surprise. He reportedly spent $2,100 on an arrangement of 250 eternity roses, which can last as long as a whole year if treated properly. The stunning roses are also arranged in a Parisian-inspired hat box, which is described as being a sweeping gesture of love and luxury that serves as an ideal gift for your eternal love. Roughly six hours after the roses arrived, Swift was then treated to another $2,100 set of flowers, this time receiving a vibrant hot pink arrangement. And they were soon followed by a luxury $3,100 rose sculpture from top-end design company Paragold. The sculpture is described as a graceful flower which crystallizes a message of infinite love and conveys an unforgettable emotion. A source is quoted as saying, Travis knows what she likes and is always wanting to send her lots of nice flowers. Taylor can have the little rose sculpture with her all the time. Nevertheless, the gifts didn't stop there for Swift as she prepared to kickstart her round of Era's tour concerts down under, with Kelsey also throwing in a $1,100 black lambskin D or beret. The beret will serve as ideal attire for Taylor when her and Travis head to Paris on one of their rumored European getaways over the summer, with trips to London and Milan also booked. And she will also be able to accompany it with a swanky $5,100 handbag from Italian designers Bottega Veneta and a wide-brimmed Celine straw hat, which completed Kelsey's expensive layout on Valentine's Day gifts for his lover. The NFL star is understood to be planning on joining Swift out in Australia as she continues her era's tour after dropping a huge hint that he would venture to an island real soon on his New Heights podcast. Kelsey, who was spotted by DailyMail.com at a Kansas City restaurant earlier this week, told brother Jason, I am about to go Fernine, venture myself over to an island here soon. I don't know. I think the best ones are south right now, so I'm going to go south. He added that next week's podcast is a pre-recorded guest episode which he is not featured in, which led fans to believe he would join his girlfriend in Sydney from February 23rd, and maybe travel with her to Singapore for her shows in the first week of March. Kelsey has drawn criticism from a number of angles over the past week, firstly after he was seen shoving and shouting at Kansas City head coach Andy Reid on the sidelines during last weekend's Super Bowl. A boozy Travis could then barely speak at the Chiefs' victory parade back in KC on Wednesday with his teammates forced to hold him up on stage as the celebrations took their toll. And after that parade descended into tragedy when gunmen opened fire, killing one and leaving 22 injured, the tight end was one of several Chiefs players who headed out to a restaurant later that evening. Kelsey was even seen smiling for a selfie with some cops outside the restaurant despite the deadly shooting earlier in the day leading to concerns from Swift's legion of fans. If fans wondered whether Travis Kelsey would dash off to Australia to be with his girlfriend Taylor Swift following his triumphant return to Kansas City and the tragedy that followed, the answer is not yet. So far, Travis has stayed close to home with exclusive DailyMail.com pictures showing the Super Bowl 58 winner driving his Rolls Royce to get lunch with a friend on Saturday.